Okay, we're going to talk about Checkpoint today. This is an accounting, tax, sometimes financial, legal database. So Thomson Reuters Checkpoint. So today we have to look up some IRS notices. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. There's a list of IRS notices I have to look up. And Checkpoint has this kind of content, but it's 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 not the easiest database to search. So I'll show you one thing. You could just type it in the search box here, or I just paste it in the search box. Hit search, and it has a weird way of ranking things in there. Their search engine does not rank like Google or any other database I've ever seen. It just brings them up in these order. Federal tax cases. Well, no, that's not what I'm looking for. More federal tax cases. <laughs> okay. IRS rulings and release and releases. And this is tricky because you see, I was I'm looking for notice 2792. Okay. This is IRS news or IR news release. It's not the same thing. But if you scroll down a little bit, there's the notice. So it's really easy to get fooled by that. And it doesn't have, it seems like the weakness of this database is it has a very poor ranking system on links that come back. But there it is right there. Okay, there's notice 2007-92. And if you open this up, these links are really hard to save. They're really hard to keep track of things. So what I would do, I would download this if you need to work with this. I would export this as a PDF somewhere and just save it and come back to it later. I think that's the easiest way to do that with this database. Okay, let me go back now. And I, so whenever possible, when I'm working with Checkpoint, I like to go to search exactly what I'm searching for. They have this database divided up into sections where you can search just for notices, just for revenue rulings, just for technical advice, memoranda, whatever. Okay. What I would do for that, and it's a better search, and it's, I know it's more complicated. It's a lot more complicated. But if you go here to quick links, like I have several IRS notices to look up. I don't want to have to go through that process. I just went for every one. So I've got notice 2,792. Still have that, I think, saved in my clipboard. Okay. Here's what you want to do. I went to quick links and you go right here, IRS pubs and other tax docs. Then, you're not going to find it here. You might, it might come up from this. What I do, I go to here where it says more. And there's the notices right there. I want to go to their library just of notices. Now, this could be too, too many steps for you. What I like is once I'm here and I have to look up, it's only going to look up notices. Leave that there. Let me paste this in here. Now, get rid of notice. If you're going to search this way, get rid of the word notice. Just search for that, that citation, just that number there. Search. And it comes right up. Comes right up to notice 2,792. I don't have to do any messing around with looking through all the cases and everything and trying to discern. Okay. I know, like I said, it was a lot of steps. I'm going to go back here. Whoops. I went too far back. I went all the way back to there their search. So I, <laughs> I went back one step here now. So let me, let's go to that again and show you. Again, it's, it's a tricky database to use. What I would do instead of back to search results, <laughs> that'll take you all the way back to your very first search. Go back, just use the back button. It seems weird. This will take me right back here because there's other notices I want to look up. I want to look up this notice now. Put that in there again. Don't put notice in there. And then it takes us right to that notice. And again, with this, I would export it as a PDF if you're going to work with it, because it's <laughs> it's hard to navigate in this. You don't want to. I don't want to have to go through that every single time I do this. And it's hard to save things from this database any other way. So I would save them as a PDF. Okay. Let me go back again. We don't do this. So this will take us all the way back to the beginning. If we go back here. I've got my third notice I want to look up. Just going to copy that again. I don't need notice in there. Put that in there. And it takes me right to that notice. So that's how that's how you do it. You can either start at the very beginning, search for this and look through a lot of be prepared. So many times I look things up in checkpoint and I think it's not in there. It's I don't know. It's it's a strange search engine. So I can just search the general search engine. 
and wade through all this stuff that is not what I'm looking for. News release. You can see that's easy to get fooled by it. There's a news re news release, the annotation news release. This one's purple because I clicked on it before because I was fooled by it, but it's the notice. And then here, whoops, no, the notice, that's the one we are looking for. The news release was up here somewhere. I think so. Anyways, as you can see, it's a confusing database and the results are different now than when we searched before. I swear, I think so. It's such a confusing database that for me, what I like to do, I know I'm just saying the same thing again. What I really like to do with this database, just because it's so confusing and hard to find, I like to go to quick links. I like to go to these pubs. And then I click more. And then I I go to the area that I'm looking for notices, for example. And then I just bring them up by the citation below. Anyway, hopefully this helps some people out there. Thanks a lot for watching.